Hello students, in this lecture we are going to discuss the basic principles of drainage system of a house. For the proper design and construction of house drainage system, some principles we have to adopt. So first is house drainage would be preferable laid by side of the building to facilitate easy repair and better maintenance rather than provide below the building. The sewers or sewage should flow under the force of gravity. The house sewers should always be straight between inspection chambers and manholes. As all sharp bends and junctions should be avoided except through chambers or manholes. The entire system should be well ventilated from start to the end. And the house sewer should be connected to the manhole such that the invert level is sufficiently higher to avoid the backflow of sewage in house sewer. Wherever there is change in direction of sewer line in the premises, provide IC or inspection chamber at the junction. And the house drainage should contain enough number of traps at suitable points for efficient functioning of it. The joints of sewers should be watertight and should be properly tested before putting the drainage line in use. Rainwater from roofs or open courtyards should not be allowed to flow through the house sewers. Here we have to provide the separate drain pipe for the drainage of rainwater. Siphonage action can never be permitted and therefore adequate ventilation systems should be installed. The sewage performed should be conveyed as early as possible after its formation. The size of lateral sewers should be such that they will not overflow at the time of maximum discharge. And uh, the layout of house drainage system should permit easy cleaning and removal of obstructions. Basically, the lateral, lateral sewers should be laid at proper gradient so that they will develop self-cleansing velocity. And we have to focus on also the materials of sewers should comply with the standard requirements. They should be non-absorbent and an earth Cushioning should be provided to protect them from external loads. So these are the basic principles which we have to follow during the construction of drainage system or house drainage system. And uh, this figure shows the house drainage system. Also this one. Next is types of drainage system or systems of plumbing plumbing system or drainage system so there are basically four types of drainage system or plumbing system as follows first is two pipe system next one pipe system single stack system number fourth is partially ventilated single stack system so let us discuss one by one so first is two pipe system This is the best and most improved system of plumbing. Here two sets of vertical pipes, one for excreta as soil pipe and another for sewage as waste pipe. Here we use two separate vertical pipes. The soil pipes as well as waste pipes are separately ventilated by providing separate vent pipe or anti-siphonous pipe. This system has four vertical pipes, overall four vertical pipes and hence it becomes costly. This system also costly. The number of pipes on wall face is also more and if not properly maintained, these pipes form noisance. And the figure shows the two pipe system. Then number two is the one pipe system. Instead of using two separate pipes for excreta and sewage, only one vertical main pipe we provide here, which collects both night soil or human excreta and sewage water. Also, the main pipe is ventilated at the top. In addition, a separate vent pipe is also provided here. 
दिस सिस्टम हैज टू वर्टिकल पाइप हेयर बिफोर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग दिस टाइप और वन पाइप सिस्टम ऑफ प्लम्बिंग सम प्रिकॉशंस वी शुड हैव टू टेकन लाइक ऑल जॉइंट्स ऑफ वेस्ट पाइप शुड बी एयर टाइट ऑल ट्रैप्स शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड विथ ए डीप वाटर सील ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम डेथ ईच वेस्ट पाइप शुड बी डिरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द कॉमन स्टैक द डायमीटर ऑफ सेपरेट वेंट पाइप शुड नॉट बी लेस देन फिफ्टी एम एम एंड द वेस्ट पाइप शुड जॉइन द स्टैक एव द सॉयल ब्रांच एट ईच फ्लोर सो दीज आर सम प्रिकॉशंस व्हिच वी हैव टू फॉलो ड्यूरिंग द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वन पाइप प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम नंबर थ्री सिंगल स्टैक सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम इज हैविंग ए सिंगल पाइप फॉर सॉयल also for waste also for vent or for ventilation without any separate ventilation pipe it uses only one pipe which carries night soil as well as sulis and the same pipe is extended up to 2 meter above the roof level with a cowl to act as vent pipe for removal of gas so this single stack system is economic in nature but it is entirely effective in the depth of water seal only the traps should therefore be filled with water for all the time and the depth of water seal should not be less than 75 mm otherwise this stack system may not work properly then the last one partially ventilated stack system this is an improved form of सिंगल स्टैक सिस्टम हुएर द ट्रैप्स ऑफ द वाटर क्लोसेट्स आर वेंटिलेटेड बाय सेपरेट वेंट पाइप ओनली कॉल्ड अ रिलीफ वेंट पाइप दिस सिस्टम यूजेस टू पाइप्स एज इन सिंगल पाइप सिस्टम द सिंगल सॉयल एंड वेस्ट पाइप इज कनेक्टेड टू वेंट पाइप एंड दस कॉस्ट इज आल्सो रिड्यूस्ड हियर इट इज दस एन इंटरमीडिएट अरेंजमेंट बिटवीन द सिंगल स्टैक सिस्टम एंड वन पाइप सिस्टम so here also some precautions we have to take during the preparation of this partially ventilated single stack system like all traps should be provided with a deep water seal of 75 mm depth the diameter of relief vent pipe should not be less than 50 mm and the waste pipe should join the stack above the soil branch at each other so overly the choice of plumbing system depends on various factors such as use of building location of building fund available etc but the prevailing bylaws of the locality regarding the plumbing regulations play an important role in selection of the plumbing system next is anti siphonage pipe water seal of traps in multi storied building or house may sometimes get broken due to siphonic action so when the waste water is suddenly discharged from a sanitary fixer a of the upper floor this is an example it moves down rapidly through the soil pipe and it in it is movement it may suck some air from the lateral pipe connecting the soil pipe with the fixer at the lower floor this is the figure this is the a this is the b anti siphonage pipe b a so this sogged air causes siphonic action resulting in the flow of water from the trap of the fixer to the soil pipe and thus breaking it it is water seal so to overcome this difficulty a separate pipe of smaller diameter is attached to the trap which connects the trap with the vent pipe this is known as anti siphonage pipe it is a pipe which is installed to preserve the water seal of traps through proper ventilation and 
this pipe thus will normally serve as a vent pipe and as an anti siphonage pipe in case suction takes place so this is a figure which shows the detailing of a anti siphonage pipe and how it works same figure so for this class this much in next lecture we will start with the inspection chamber thank you